This is our 2023 Nissan Z. Check it out! Let's go! We took off the wrap, threw on some cool wheels, and even took it off roading. We have two weeks until we'll be debuting this car at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. We've got a Liberty Walk body kit, custom suspension, custom wheels, and even an exhaust system. First, we're gonna get started by installing our Recaro Sportster CS seats. While we're removing these seats now is a great time to let you guys know that we're opening up two times entries. That's right, every dollar you spend on Throttle.com on parts or merchandise is gonna get you two entries per dollar to win our awesome wide body Liberty Walk Z that we're taking to the SEMA show. So don't hesitate, get those entries in today over at Throttle.com. Can we just look at these chairs real quick? The seat pattern is actually different from left to right. I don't know why they didn't put that little guy in, but it's kind of awkward. The other thing that we noticed about these chairs is they're really flimsy. Look at the headrests, look at this. Like how is this, how did this pass safety standards, honestly? And when you're sitting in the seat and you put your head back, you actually, look at how much movement is here. This actually moves inside the seat. It's a very awkward feeling. I noticed it on our test drive and now outside the car, it's even more pronounced because they are bolstered, but they are really soft and just not gonna hold you in place at all. It's not a, that's not a sports car chair. You know what I mean? Well, the good news is we've got a solution for that and they're sitting right over there on the floor. So let's take a look at our new Recaro Sportster CSs. These are actually the black vinyl versions. What I love about these seats they actually come with heaters it's built in not all of them have it. it is an option but right here you've got a button that you can wire in got high and low setting and off which is really cool the other nice thing about them is they have an s-shaped back which is really good for back support and aligning your spine I also have lumbar support down here in the bottom which is really nice as well i love all the little details the little metal tags it's almost like an oe tag on there that both seats have it they are reclinable quinn if you pull up yeah. that little lever right there yep. you know, on your left hand oh this guy that little guy quick reclinable so if you want to put something in the back they fold forward nice and easy and then there's a mini knob down here as most Ricardo chairs have and that allows you to adjust the backrest nice and easily. This is a proper racing chair that's molded to be a street right. seat. Right, so it has it looks like it. integrated pass-throughs for yep. if so you want to run racing harnesses, you, harnesses you can. Harnesses on, you're good. <laughs> looks so good, man. I love it. I can't wait to get these things in. Yeah, they're badass. We're gonna go ahead and get cranking. Ricky is the Mr. Seat Master right there. <laughs> He's put in plenty of aftermarket seats. So we're all gonna work together and we're gonna get these bad boys in the car. I went ahead and removed our seatbelt clickers and the plug that plugs into the chassis, which basically tells the car whether your seatbelt's plugged in or not while you're driving. Now, one of the things we do have to tackle is these seats have an airbag in them. Our new Recaro Sportster CS do not have airbags. We're gonna have an airbag light on the dash if we don't remedy it. I'm sure someone out there makes something fancy that's gonna trick this thing to think the airbags are still present, so we don't want those lights on the dash. Everything in green we keeping. We're gonna take that off. Take that off. The bracket in place where I make the weld. So we keeping the, these ones, we're deleting those four, we make a custom bracket for all four points, and then we'll bolt it down, and if it works, we'll give it one last uh, weld, and then we should be in business. To begin, I will fabricate some brackets and test fit them to the rail. After measuring to make sure everything lines up correctly, I need to test fit the seats and make sure that they fit in the car and slide properly. I put the last bolt in and I spent about 45 minutes adjusting the rail to make sure it slides smooth back and forth. Everything is plugged in under the seat too. <laughs> Look at this. Woo! Yeah. I want to see ah! <laughs> <laughs> How cool, dude. How's the seat feel though? It's comfy. It's really, really comfortable. I need this in my daily driver. Like this is really comfy. You probably fall asleep. So, Quinn, your turn. Quinn, how tall are you for all six, the folks out there? Six three. Six three and Ricky. Hey, hey, four don't be nine. throwing my height out there. Four nine. What? Four nine. I'm bro. five seven. Five seven. Okay. Five seven. This is such a better chair, dude. It is. I'm not hitting the headliner. This feels great, dude. It's a little lean back, if I'm honest. That's, that, that's, how, I, that's how I ride, bro. That's how you ride? I lean like a cholo, sorry, dude. But like the base position of the lower seat is like not too high. It like, feels good, it supports your legs. It does, yeah. The bolsterings are so good on these, dude. I love it. Yeah. I like this. this like is the, great, I like dude. the shoulder rest, too. Yeah. Like it, it just makes everything so, it's like somebody's hugging you and holding you. Fantastic job. Yeah. This is so good. And it's it slides fan. so nice. Yeah. Center console height is good, the armrest height is good, the window height is good. Yeah. That's perfect, dude. What a proper chair, dude. And look at it. That's a sports car chair. That's That fits the car so much better.
Oh yeah. Let's go. I'm really happy with this. Like really happy. I like them. They're comfy. They're sweet. And the height is perfect. Good job, Ricky. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> We just unboxed our new Magnafo X-Mod Series Performance Exhaust System for our 2023Z. This thing is awesome. This car already has an exhaust on it. I have no idea what kind of exhaust it is. It doesn't sound very good. It is not loud enough also. So this thing is gonna be epic. It's gonna be great, man. One of the things that I noticed that the old exhaust, it has the OEM stock piping on it other than the very, very last part of the car. And this thing is full cat back oh, exhaust. So, so we are gonna, this thing is gonna breathe hell of a lot better and it's gonna sound great. As an X pipe in the center, and this is also a super modular exhaust system. So we're gonna be putting in the blast pipes for yeah. now to get the loudness. This of course is gonna stay a street car. So when we want a nice quiet, we can always insert these little muffler packs, which is really cool. So I know, but for now we're gonna go loud, baby. We gotta have it loud. So the exhaust that's on there now sounds like this. Also kind of looks terrible we'll get it up in the air but you can see we've got like a huge change in pipe size which looks ridiculous so let's get the car up in the air get this old junk exhaust off and get our new x model on let's do it baby bro that's not look true look at this dinky uh, little pipe dude. no way yeah. that's not true that is is this Damn. how wild is that huh why so small? That's what she said. Why is it so small? That's what she said. Why are you so small? That's what she said. Why? I don't, our new, our new stuff. Is big. That's what she said. Look at that. Look at that size difference. That's what I said. Damn. That's like double the pipe. That's what she said. Uh, I gotta measure that. Uh, 1.78. That's outside yeah, diameter. Geez. That's not the inside. The outside. Right. 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 So the inside is even less than that. All right, so let's make sure. 2.25 or 2.5? We can't even make sure the inside will probably be bigger. Here's the, the ID, 236, yeah. and the out. 2.5, exactly. Proper. Bam. Proper exhaust. Wow. Before ripping this old exhaust off, we're gonna be using the help of WD-40 to make sure we don't strip any of the bolts. With the removal of an old exhaust, we always start from the front back and the same when installing a new exhaust system. The old exhaust is only 1.75 inches outside diameter with this new exhaust being two and a half inches and being a full cap back, it will allow the turbos to breathe a lot better. The entire X-Mod system is secured using quick release V-band clamps. The mufflers are modules that can be swapped out for the included three inch diameter straight pipe, which we are gonna be using on this install. You may wonder why we are always using Magnaflow exhausts and not only do they make an amazing product as well as a pretty simple install that anyone can do at home with just a few jack stands they are also local to us here in san diego being right up in oceanside this is the big moment so we get to choose if we want to run our mufflers or our extreme delete straight pipes what do you think ricky we should definitely do the extreme delete straight pipes can we do one of each no what the no because they no. Half, half the engine's going to be running out of no, no it's no. not next pipe on it no okay oh. <laughs> we're putting the extreme delete straight pipes on So we just got the exhaust system fully installed. Now we're gonna start to tighten everything down and this is where the alignment kind of comes in. So you can see we still have these loose. So if you'll notice our tips are out to lunch right now. So they're smashed against the side. But if we start rolling these things up, it'll start changing the attitude of how these tips want to be. So we need to get them squared in the center. So with this alignment here, the one above and then how far out this is sticked out from the rear bumper. Cause you can always push these two in. And what that's gonna do, is gonna bring the tips inside. And then like he explained, this one will give you. So Lift really you right. start at the front pretty much from the engine side and start yep. working and tightening things on your way back because if you tighten this down first and then make a change down here it just kind of throws everything out of alignment. So now we're going to be patient, take our time and get this thing lined up properly.
Our X mod is fully installed and we have our extreme delete pipes in here. So this thing's gonna be loud. But one thing about this exhaust system is it has this, which is an NDL. So it's an anti-drone tube. So even with the straight pipe on it, it's not gonna drone, which is really cool. So we're gonna bring it down, fire it up, see how this thing sounds. That's nice. Give it a little rev, Ricky. Did you guys hear the turbos? <laughs> you can hear it. Yeah, you hear the turbos good. wind down and wind up. Jeez, that thing is nice. Dude, Dude that sounds wow. good. Wow. Turbos, yeah. What? It sounds sick, you can hear dude. The turbos yeah. Spinning. This uh, is actually like tuned for this car. It time. sounds really good. I like that. Bro, hey, hit it again. I want to hear those turbos. Dude, the turbos are loud. It sounds sick. No, it sounds like a really nice exhaust from the inside, but I can't hear the turbos though. Oh, yeah, I heard them. Oh, dude, I heard them on the way up and down. So I thought was there, it wasn't bad, but this is like epic. This no, is sick. that thing was pretty bad. Dope. Take it for a drive. It's not like excessively loud either. It's like, not. We no, can leave perfect. these pipes on. I love how it sounds. I like Proper. Is it our Magnifol X mod is installed, dude? This thing sounds absolutely awesome. I love it. It sounds really good. It looks really good. It sounds the carbon sick. Tips. I know. Yeah. Just the idle sounds way better too. It's so great, dude. Oh, I love it. And we got the seats installed. Absolute game changer on these things. I so can't great. wait to drive it because I know with this exhaust, it's gonna wake up the motor even more, and this thing's gonna drive phenomenal. Oh, the seats, this. baby! Yeah, Come dude. on, they look so good. And look, 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 they're heated. See that oh, light? Did you try them out yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. did watch, watch, watch. Yeah, wait. like so. I, mean, I don't know how you can show the heat. Oh, okay, you, can you see, see this LED? Light. Watch, boom. So that's that's like that's energy. high heat, and then that's low. Heat. Oh, the low heat is a green light. Yeah, it's a green light. Yeah. That's so sick, dude. Yeah. This car is gonna be so awesome. We're gonna take this thing to SEMA. That is gonna start October 31st. We've got a lot more work to do to this thing. So we have a Liberty Walk body kit. As you guys know, we have custom wheels on the way. They're almost here. I'm not gonna show you guys or tell you guys anything about them. But Just wait. know we have custom wheels. What do we do when we do a wide body kit every time? Air suspension. No, you have, have you, I think have have air suspension. I think the only car that we body haven't body done air in a wide body kit is the Supra because it had its purpose. It has its purpose, but yeah, car also this has is wheelies. So yeah, can't <laughs> you can't do that in air you suspension. On so this thing is gonna be slammed on the ground. So like Quinn was saying, we have Liberty Walk white body kit, we have air suspension, the custom wheels, and we actually have the body kit shut up this the morning. The body kit's here. It's yeah. right, it's the big white box right there. Can we, can we show no, them? That's it, that's it. That's all I'm showing them is that it's right there. Anthony's, Anthony's hey, choosing the box hey, over there. Hey, hey, what's up guys? Hey, what's up, buddy? Hey, what are we doing? We, we got a camera, recording a camera. Yeah, yeah, that's right. This is our seat, bro. Love it. The next giveaway. That's it, I'll enter. I you better. To, I can't wait to win. You can't win it though. That's, uh, that's the whole thing. I would've showed you guys, I would've had the camera by myself. <laughs> The kit has a sick wing now. I'm so Bro, stoked the wing back is like, into this car. The wing goes from insane. here all the way up, boom, all the way down. The diffuser just boom, gets wider. The body kit here goes from here all the way out to like front, like here. I guess really wide on both sides. So she's gonna be a wide mom. And then <laughs> the side skirt's the same. And then right here also it comes out, boom. The hood gets changed and the yes, front bumper is different. I'm excited yeah. for the front bumper. It has some design yeah. work, it like does. right here, yeah. that's really nice. And then it gets really low. Yeah. So we have a lot of really awesome stuff still coming for this car. I cannot wait to show you guys this. So that's pretty much going to be it for today's video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to drop a like, comment, and a subscribe down below what you guys think of our Z and how it's turning out. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.